Hey, it is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got another small hack for you. Again, um, if you get an opportunity, if it's your first time to this channel, and those that know know about my channel know it's always good to go ahead and subscribe and actually um, hit the bell for the subscribe notification uh, because I'm always dropping these hacks. I'll be, you know, sleeping in bed, wake up out of bed and says, hey, I got to hit this hack. I got to get this hack out of my head. So this is one of those ones I wanted to get out of my head. I have another hack coming. It's going to probably be bigger than this, but this hack includes two tools, uh, Ligna, um, and it's also going to include another tool, but I'm going to surprise you when I give you the other tool. So I'll just start with you with uh, this particular setup now. So Ligna is an uh, agency tool that is out there and it is a shell, right? It's a blank shell. You have to fill it up, put your own ingredients, put your own tools, put your own modifications in it. And one of the things I thought that it needed uh, as I'm starting to build it out is I needed to put in my email sequences for the, the, tip, the different uh, notifications and emails that I want to send out. So this is one I started a webinar email because I want to invite some people to a webinar that I'm having in um, two weeks. And I've already started putting the, the emails here, but let me tell you what I decided to do. So this is the email sequence. Most email sequences start with about at least five emails um, to get people warmed up and to remind them of your different uh, webinars and things of that nature. So this, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is just a personal invitation to the webinar. And uh, so this is inside the webinar um, email that I want to send out the body here. I can put in the dates and all of that here. I can um, have it system generated or I just wanted to show you where some of the changes would go for this particular email. I can pick the roles and access here for this particular email. And again, it has the email sequences as number one and personal invitation right there. So let's look at the emails that I want to actually um, send out. So this is email number one. I think we looked at email and like I showed you, it was email one and two. Let's input email number three. So again, we're back here, clicked on email. And so we have two emails here. We want to send out at least five emails. So let's add an email here. So let's go here. We're going to add another email in our sequence. So we're going to go email there. So we're going to put webinar uh, email sequence uh, number three. Not going to sign it to any workspace or anything like that. Just want to keep it on the surface right now. So let's go in and let's edit this particular email here. We can either click here on a three or we can just go here to edit. So we'll just click on the email here. So once we get here, what we want to do is we want to copy in the body of the email, but let's use another tool that I talked about. You can probably see the link below or it'll be above uh, of this tool I called uh, email writer. So let's look at that tool and we're going to input the series sequence here for number three. So here we are in email writer here and we are in, uh, let's take a look here. We are at uh, email sequence three. Want to know the value of your home, right? So this is obviously a, a real estate webinar that I'm having. Um, and so this is sequence, email sequence number three. If you see the other two, this is two. And then this is one, right? Is your home still available for sale, right? Uh, like hotcakes, it starts to tell a story, right? But this is email number three. And like I said, usually when you use email writer, an email writer is a tool that gives you a sequence of follow-up emails, right? And what they do is they their emails convert too. Um, so you can find the link in that description and description below, you'll find that there um, for this tool as well. But this tool writes all of these different uh, email copy and email follow up for you. I think you have to do a little tweaking. You do want to read it and kind of personalize and make a little bit of your own, but you can do that as well. So again, there's five emails here. Um, we want to copy and put email number three in there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. 
So we're going to put email number three in there. I want to know the value of your home is a subject. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So what we've done here for email sequence number three is subject. Do you want to know the value of your home? And we've also copied it in here and that's it. We are done. That covers everything. Save it out here. Okay. So then after you save it out, that should just pretty much be it. Um, you can come back in later. You can set up your different cadences and different things like that. Uh, but that should be it. And that's just a little hack um, using two tools. Again, email writer, which writes all of your sequences of emails for you, which becomes the hardest part. It's another part when it becomes to setting up this entire tool. It's a whole different animal trying to create all these different sequences and all these different email sequences. And email writer is a tool that gives you probably about 1500 different emails that you can utilize for most of the most popular disciplines that are out there. Hey, this has been JD Jones. Please like and subscribe. I'm always doing hacks. I have two major hacks coming up in the next couple of days. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that um, subscribe bell because they're going to be major. One of them is going to be super major. Um, I don't know if that's a word, super major. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Take care. This has been uh, Jenny Jones, for Digital Growth Hacks. Goodbye for now. Stay safe.